y'all and welcome welcome back to lisa's cottage just a wee grocery haul here um it looks like mostly house stuff and quite a bit of frozen stuff because i will not be cooking as much this week or through the weekend last week i didn't um get to uh, cook a couple of the meals that i had planned out so i just brought them over into this week and then last night's meal um he had leftovers from that so we're just going with the flow right now so you will see quite a few frozen foods uh, that are just easy peasy pop in the microwave or in the oven and done call it done so i'll just go over uh, what we uh, picked up or ordered and picked up for this week to get us through until next week dryer sheets i'm not a dryer sheet snob I use downy in the washing machine however we still need to use some form of a dryer sheet because we will get static in our clothes if I do not put a dryer sheet in the dryer never can have too many boxes of tissues the majority of our rooms in this house has a box of tissues somewhere in the room the majority of the rooms not all the rooms but the majority of and them. then placards we like to use these in between our daily flossing, either in the morning or at night. We like to use these during the day after having a snack or a meal. I needed some more latex gloves uh, to clean the bathrooms. I also thought that I would need them to apply the uh, topical chemo, but I'm finding I don't need them. I've not taken this um, form of vitamin D. I have, I've been taking another form and the ones I take are chewable and I bet these are not chewable. So it must be all they had. Needed some more kitchen trash bags and some white out. Ken usually uses the tape here and I've used it. Uh, I've, he's given me one of his before and I discovered I like it. So I needed more of that as well as he must have thought that I wanted the uh, original white out. More walnuts. We like to just pick up walnuts uh, each week because I eat the walnuts for snack as well as in my oatmeal every morning. Premier Protein. I've not been making my iced coffee as often so uh, my Premier Protein has been lasting for a while. That's good. A box of the peppermint tea. It helps settle my stomach when I'm feeling kind of nauseous one or two or more packs of gum somebody has a gum addiction and their name would start with a nail you know my goodness when i pulled these out the bag i did not know they were put in our order um so somebody is going to have some yummy uh, snacking goodies and i will tell him you need to take those out of the house because if i try one that will be all she wrote if I don't try one, I can pass it up. All it takes is for me to have one. And then it's like, what was it? The commercial, the Lay's commercial. You can't have just one. Or I bet you can't have just one. Or, or was that Pringles? I really don't remember. Hmm, was it Pringles or Lay's? So I will try not to have even one. We've cut back on our eggs because I'm not having a boiled egg every morning any longer. Um... So we just got a dozen of eggs. And this is Ken's ballpark uh, deli rolls. He will eat, he will use them for sandwich. And when um, like instead of rolls with meatloaf or um, roast or anything that I've cooked or like the uh, oven baked chicken last night, he will just take one of these, butter it up and eat it for his bread. So that's just the um, household and like the pantry stuff well one refrigerator thing so there is like quite a bit of frozen food and i'll bring that out next i like the green and the red but the reds they're so big that i find that i have to cut them down the middle in order to eat them and yes my dentist says i have the smallest mouth of anyone he's ever seen and not only one dentist has said that my orthodontist my dentist and when i've had any kind of procedure or surgery that i need um general anesthesia they've said the same thing you have a tiny mouth and then pears and bananas so that's the fruit for the week i still have a few bananas left over there and one apple so that's 
this part of our Walmart grocery haul for this week. Here are a few of the frozen items as well as a couple of the a uh, couple more refrigerated items. I did have two of the Halo red velvet containers. I've had one already, so we had picked up two of those. Uh, I suppose these are his because I didn't even know they were out there until I just had gone out to get the stuff to bring it in to show you what was in this last Walmart little wee wee grocery haul. Orange Sherbert, um, he picked up some orange Sherbert push-ups. This is new. I've not had them before, and I don't think he's had them. Some of the ranch cheese sticks. Two of the Marie Colander um, frozen meals. We had, I think he picked up three of the chicken pot pie. Two are gone already. One thin crust pepperoni pizza, and then one uh, stuffed crust supreme pizza. So that's the frozen and the cold items we had gotten for this last Walmart uh, grocery haul. And then a package of the ballpark flamed grilled beef patties. And then the 100% all natural ingredients, crispy chicken strips. These things are good. I like to have a fresh uh, side salad. And then I think it's two of these I have. I think that's the serving. So two of those. And then um, my coffee mate. I use this in my oatmeal instead of milk. When I have my oatmeal, one smashed or possibly two smashed or mashed bananas, fresh bananas and some walnuts. And then I like to put this in in place of milk. And that my trivia. So that's it of the cold items of the Walmart grocery haul. Oh, this rounds up this last Walmart grocery haul, the items that we picked up. So totally was not expecting this. Well, I was expecting this, but not expecting this. Isn't that vase so pretty? And I'm not usually one for white porcelain or white glass, but I'm starting to find that I do like it. That's a pretty bunch of flowers, actually. Happy birthday, and I love you. And a card for the birthday girl. Happy birthday, Lisa, I love you. And he said one of the cherries had slipped off and sure enough, there it is. But I wasn't going to take the top off and put the cherry back up on there because I would definitely probably do more damage. And I requested death by chocolate and when he had shown them the picture at Kroger, they didn't sell them in the little individual servings. So she actually made it and she said, yes, it was called death by chocolate and she made it for him, for him to give to me. So I'm gonna be enjoying me some chocolate tonight and hopefully it's not going to kill me. If I made it to 52 years, hopefully I will make it through this chocolate cake.